from Serbia to Santo Domingo, welcome and welcome back, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host, Galadon. It is the 271st installment of the free-to-play, no-cash Clash of Clans, and today, the easy how-to three-star with Sneaky Goblins, and I'm sure it could be applied to just about any base Asterisk. Okay, let's move on to the upgrades because we are so close to Town Hall 15. I can smell it. I can taste it. I can... Okay, that was actually uh, leftover breakfast. But yeah, the point is we're getting close. And you can see as we zoom out, the builders are working hard. And we've got, well, you know, mostly, actually, uh, almost. Okay, next episode, I'm thinking ahead. Next episode, we'll finish all of the defenses, these five cannons. And uh, yeah, so make sure you stick around. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have notifications turned on because we've got other exciting stuff as well. We're trying to bring you some builder-based content, but not overwhelming amounts because, well, let's just say it's more fun, but it's not going to take over the home village excitement, right? The home village is where it's at. And speaking of, yes, okay, so sneaky goblins, are sneakily strong and sometimes you can get out there if you're careful and you have a full contingent like you see here you can annihilate these semi-dead bases now you'll notice that two of the three inferno towers are still awake at the moment but the eagle is down the other inferno is down of course the heroes are there yet not a problem when you've got the sneaky gobs in fact in some ways i feel like sneaky goblins have kind of dumbed down Clash of Clans. If you think about it, it doesn't exactly take much of a Clash IQ to get in there and grab millions and millions of loot every raid. It's just sitting there waiting for you to come take it. All you need is the knowledge that Sneaky Goblins are the way. Now, of course, there is so much more to Clash of Clans and you can think about Sneaky Goblins dumbing down Clash, but then the Clan Capital and the Builder Base are increasing the necessary IQ for success, right? Well, maybe, okay, clan capital kind of in the middle. Builder base on the high end with the high rewards for being able to read a base, pick apart defenses, and put together a two-stage attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, it's fun, but I am obviously, as an average clasher, finding it relatively frustrating as soon as I passed about 6,000 trophies. But that, that's neither here nor there. Actually, it's there. It's on the other side of the map. But what I'm saying is, let's talk about this. No cash clash and what is happening with these accounts. Because, obviously, gold pass clash also just about ready to go to Town Hall 15. Am I really going to have four Town Hall 15 accounts in a matter of weeks? It's entirely possible. Now, this account is obviously not quite ready to go, and there's a reason for that. And the reason is we have plenty of Dark Elixir left to be spent, okay? The lab and the hero pets need a lot of levels, and that's going to take millions of Dark Elixir, which is going to help us because, remember, if you have watched Gold Pass Clash recently, you've seen the problem where we don't have anywhere left to spend Dark Elixir there's really only one way out. And of course, that way out is up. But over here, yeah, there's like 200 and something walls left to be upgraded. And I'll just tell you, the significance of the gold pass has never been more obvious or more painful uh, to a free-to-play player than right now. We can see that the wall grind over on gold pass clash has flown by, absolutely flown by. And over here, it's quite the grind and raid weekends just not helping like they used to. Think about it. We're just, we're not even getting a wall per raid weekend over here. Maybe with the wall rings, I guess, but with the actual resources, not helping that much. And then we wrapped up another month of not having the gold pass. And look at this terrible looking season bank. That's disgusting. I feel like the Clash team could do something about the free side season bank. Maybe to reward players to play more. Remember, that's what the team is always trying to do, encourage you to play Clash a little bit more. So if the season bank were bigger for free to play players, okay, this is this is actually a really good idea. And I will definitely forward this on to the necessary authorities because I think it's about time the season bank gets a little bit of a buff. All right, we got a buff over here with the Rune of Elixir from the Clan Games, that helps out. 
every little bit, right? CWL, Clan Games, the free pass. Yes, okay, then earlier you saw we had the lab coming free. Now the lab is indeed free, and I'm thinking Dragon Rider, right? Probably, yes. Let's go ahead and get the Dragon Riders going to level two, even though we're likely to never use them. You never know. It's best to be prepared because it's possible an underused troop at some point will see a huge buff and you don't want to be left out in the cold when you don't have said troop upgraded. The raids, they continue. Fast forward from the beginning to the end and check it out because I think that one full sneaky goblin raid per episode is probably enough, right? You guys don't need to see tons of this stuff. And I'll admit it's been thousands of these raids, but I'm okay. I'm here, and as long as you guys are enjoying it enough to, you know, to be here, to watch it, to leave a comment, to leave a like, I will continue the grind. But, uh, you know, uh, now I'm looking back at the beginning of the episode when I said everybody's favorite account. Okay, my favorite account is probably actually Gold Pass Clash. Uh, yeah, you know, it's true. But this is going to be fun once the wall grind is done. And I have had a lot of people say, especially in my live streams, that yes, they feel for me the Town Hall 14 wall grind as a free-to-play player is brutal. And uh, we are just about done with the defenses. There's two cannons left, and uh, we had to step away for a day or so. We didn't have any free builders. Come back the following day, and we've got an archer tower done. So the archer tower is pretty much wrapping up. The cannons, the unicorn on her way. Uh, right? It seems like a female. You never know. It could be like a cool dude with a bangs cut over his... Anyway, okay. Uh, for accountability purposes, just showing you guys when I finish the challenges, we get extra XP and gems. That's still free-to-play stuff, but we do complete the challenges when we can, and we're looking for more... Uh, okay, nothing happening right there yet, so let's move on to the status report. I mean, you never know. You got to get over there and make sure that ah. you're not, like, one attack away from 500 gems. It's possible. Speaking of gems, we picked up about 223, Whoa. nearly 5,000 gems free to play. The hero pets are the yeah. only thing left to go as far as Dark Elixir other than what's in the lab. And then the walls... I only got five done today. That's that's pitiful. The Whoa. defenses, I only got three done today. What is wrong with me? Let's do another episode of this as soon as possible. So thank you, Galifant, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Now get out there. This is your turn to make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, another episode of you warning. I don't know if I can take any more. <laughs>